Okay. I've washed my hands and gathered my supplies. My supplies for placing someone on a bedpan and handing them a urinal will be a towel for a barrier and a linen bag. Good morning, Mr. Jones. How are you? I'm lending your CNA, and I saw that your call light was on. Do you need to get placed on a bedpan? Yeah. How are you over there, Mr. Smith? I'm good. All right. Well, before we get started, let's go ahead and provide privacy by closing your curtains. Sanitize my hands after I finish touching your dirty curtains. Mr. Jones, would it be okay if I um, open up your door and get your personal belongings out, your bedpan and everything? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to move this out of the way for just a moment. Now what I'm going to do is just open your drawer and just re open up the uh, bedpan and the urinal so that I can have it ready when I get ready to place it up underneath it. So it's going to stay in the drawer so I can keep the dirty things in this dirty drawer until I'm ready. To place your bedpan. Let me lift up your bed to a comfortable working height. So, what are you going to be doing today, Mr. Jones? Right oh, you're kind of tired, huh? Yeah. Alright, this is a good working height for me. Let me sanitize my hands. Alright. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm going to have you roll over and grab a hold of those positioning bars that are anchored to your bed. Okay? So just roll them over. I think I'm going to pull your covers down, at least your top covers, so it won't um, get in your way. It seems like you're having a difficult time rolling there onto your right side. <coughs> Go over to your right side. And I'm going to place this barrier down. You don't want stool or urine um, soiling your bed. Okay, Mr. Jones. There. There we go. Now, to place a standard bed pan, I'm going to make sure that the smooth side of the bed pan is near the uh, smaller portion of the back. And to place a fracture bed pan, again, just making sure that the smooth side of the fra uh, fractured bed pan is to the small of the back. Like so, roll over just a little bit, like so. We're going to use the standard bed pan, however. All right, Mr. Jones, just roll over. I'm going to kind of scoop your buttocks into this bed pan. Lift up. Now, I must peek to make sure you're centered on this bed pan. So let me take a little peek there. Yes, you appear to be centered on the bed pan. Is that comfortable for you? Yeah. And I'm going to hand you your urinal. And do you need me to place your penis in this urinal, or can you do it? Okay, there we go. We're going to make sure that this portion of the urinal is lying flat on the bed. All right, Mr. Jones. I'm going to remove my gloves and sanitize my hands. Then I'm going to lift the head of your bed up because it would be very difficult for you to urinate or have a bowel movement lying flat on your back. So you tell me when it's comfortable for you. Make sure your call light is within reach. Raise your bed and lower the entire bed for safety. You don't want you to roll out of the bed, okay? okay? Is that high enough? Is your head elevated high enough? Yeah. All right, let's continue to bring down the bed, the entire bed all the way down to the lowest level, okay? All right, sanitize my hands after I touch the side rails. And now I'm going to place everything within reach, Mr. Jones. Make sure you have your tissue, all your personal items, your wipes for wiping your hands when you're done. Okay, I'm going to sanitize my hands. And you call me when you're ready to get off that bed pan, okay? The call light has been pressed. Man. Hi, Mr. Jones. Were you successful? Yes. 
gray. That's all your call light on. Well, let me go ahead and sanitize my hands before I touch any of you, your personal items, or yourself. All right. Do you need any assistance with washing your hands or using the white pets for your hands? No. Did you already use them? Yes. Okay. Put this out of the way. Let me put on my gloves. And you can hand me off your urinal if you'd like. Or I can get it for you. Would you like to hand off your urinal? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, well hand it to me please. There, and then I'm going to hang this over the garbage can. Cover it up. Hang it over the garbage can. Take off my gloves. Sanitize my hands. I'm going to let your bed up and let the head of bed down. We can never try to take you off this bed pan with you in an upright position, okay? I'll take this entire bed off. this bed pan so we don't spill anything into your bed, okay? Let me get my tissue ready. Right, let me just kind of let the audience see what I'm doing. Alright, Mr. Jones, let me place my hands up underneath that bed pan to hold it down. You can roll over now. Now I'm going to, just on your side please, just roll on to your side. I'm going to wipe you now from front to back. Put the dirty tissue in my bedpan. And I'm going to cover up this bedpan. We don't want to uh, expose the contents of this bedpan to your roommate. That could be quite embarrassing. I'm going to place this on the garbage can. Take off my gloves. Sanitize my hands. Okay, Mr. Jones, you can roll back now. Let me straighten out your covers. Now that I have my gloves off, I don't stand the risk of contaminating, cross-contaminating your clean linen with dirty gloves. Let me bring your blanket back up. Make sure we get you nice and comfortable before I leave this bed side. Okay. There you go, Mr. Jones. Here's your call light. I'm going to lay lower your bed. And I'm going to go and clean your bedpan and your urinal. All right, how are you doing over there, Mr. Smith? I'm good. Awesome. Well, gentlemen, I hope you do get a chance to get outside today, maybe go out there in the courtyard. It is such a beautiful day. All right. There. Sanitize my hands. Put on another pair of gloves to go and clean your equipment. I'll be right back. I'm just going to your bathroom in there. Alrighty. Okay, Mr. Jones, I've already washed your uh, bed pan and your urinal out, and then I put it in another clean linen bag, both items in their own separate clean linen bag. And I'm going to store it here in the bottom drawer, the contaminated drawer. All right, let me sanitize my hands again. I already sanitized them when I was in the bathroom cleaning your, your equipment out. All right, Mr. Jones, let me get everything back in place. Put these items away. Open up your curtain so we don't isolate you. That's no fun. Is, it? is there anything else I can do for you? No, good. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Mr. Jo Mr. Smith over there, is there anything I can do for you? No, I'm fine. Okay, well, let me sanitize my hands before I leave, and I'll see you gentlemen in about two hours.